Life is full of ethical dilemmas. For example, is it ethical to call in sick to work just to record a YouTube video? So today we're going to talk about an ethical dilemma within the comic book collecting community, specifically CGC graded pages. So if you have a damaged comic or it's incomplete, you can ask CGC to grade the individual pages for which you can then sell to the collecting community. They sell at a fraction of the price of the complete comic, but at least you'll be able to recoup some of your money. The question is, if the total sales value of each individual page is greater than the sales value of the complete comic, is it ethical to slice open your comics, send the pages off for grading to CGC so that you can turn a profit. Now we here at Nerd Melon generally don't condone violence towards comic books. This comic uh, that we used as our sacrificial lamb was one that I had been using to practice pressing comics and it was at the end of its useful life. But we are collectors, we are not investors. Collectors would never do this to a prized comic in their collection, but investors on the other hand, where profit is paramount, might. So if it can be shown that the individual pages sell for more than the complete comic, we might start to see a trend where unscrupulous investors start slicing comic books. The crew over at nerdmelon.com just posted this new article entitled Cutting the Spine, CGC Page Grade Values versus Complete Comic Values. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. They use Amazing Fantasy 15 as an example, so they have their base value of a recently sold complete copy of Amazing Fantasy 15. They then have compiled a list of 17 recently completed auctions for CGC graded pages, one for each of the 16 pages contained in AF15 plus one for the cover. So we'll get to those numbers in a moment, but first we have two quick matters to attend to. First, you might be wondering why anyone would want to buy a page rather than the full comic book. It basically comes down to affordability. Many key comics like Amazing Fantasy 15 have become far too expensive for the average collector. For example, this copy of Action Comics number one for Superman sold last year for over $3 million. Being the first appearance of Underwear on the Outside Man, lots of collectors want a copy, but not many can afford one. Now look at this sale. What you're looking at here is a tiny piece of the cover of Action Comics number one. It's no bigger than a stamp. This sold for $7,100. Now that is crazy expensive, but if you really wanted a slice of pop culture history, $7,100 is a lot more affordable than $3 million. So you'll notice that this cover has a grade value of CVR. So CGC will give individual pages a grade of PG and covers a grade of CVR. Which brings us to our next topic. Pages and covers don't get assigned a grade value. So if you have a complete copy of a comic and you send it off to CGC, you'll get it back with a grade out of 10 uh, based on the condition of the comic. However, all pages and all covers get the same grade regardless of their condition. So what that means is that unscrupulous investor would be cutting open a low grade, low value copy of say Amazing Fantasy 15, getting the same bang for his buck as if he sliced open a high value copy. Okay, so now let's look at the numbers from that Amazing Fantasy 15 experiment posted on the Nerd Melon website. This article uses two copies of Amazing Fantasy 15 as the base sales data. One coverless copy and another low grade but complete copy. The final sales price for these two comics is shown here. And in this table we have the auction results for the graded cover as well as all 16 individual pages. Together these auctions combine to form one complete copy of Amazing Fantasy 15. We're going to add these sales prices up and subtract them from the sales of the complete books to see if our unscrupulous investor turns a profit, breaks even, or loses money. Now, here's the difference. The coverless copy sold for $8,800. The individual pages sold for almost $30,000, making an increase in value of $21,167. So again, with our unscrupulous investor, if he bought this coverless copy, sliced the spine like we did at the start of this episode, 
sent those individual pages to CGC for grading, then sold the individual pages, Mr. Unscrupulous would pocket a profit of $21,000. And the margin is even higher for the complete copy with the cover. In that scenario, the investor would walk away with $28,000 in profit. These numbers are crazy scary. But before you take a box cutter and start slicing up your comic books, we want to give you a word of caution. Prices for graded pages fluctuate wildly. Uh, the examples on the Nerd Melon website were not the only examples of pages from an Amazing Fantasy 15 that we had. Some of the other auction results didn't go so well for the seller. Interest in graded pages has only recently become popular and I don't think the market has yet settled on a final price point. And actually, as popularity rises, we might see that CGC starts giving pages and covers a grade value instead of the generic PG grade. Um, that would definitely cut into some of the crazy profit margins that we saw earlier on. So while the results are significant, they're not a guarantee. Slice, Slice at, at your, your own, own risk. risk. Uh, we're not even mentioning the fact that slicing open a comic would be destroying a beautiful piece of history. So even if you could make more money on slicing an Amazing Fantasy 15, would you want to do that? But if you fancy yourself a comic book murderer, uh, we have seen today that given the right circumstances, like you've got the right comic book, the right buyer, or um, your auction gets a bidding frenzy, it is possible to turn a profit by slicing the spine, grading the pages, and selling them individually. And that's it for this episode. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on slicing comics for profit, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Melon Show.